The National Hockey League playoffs begin this week, and for years now, the NHL's teams and players have made time during their long season to broaden the game's appeal, working with youth teams in neighborhoods not normally known as hockey hotbeds. We recently caught up with the Fort DuPont Cannons, the oldest team in the NHL's Hockey is for Everyone urban outreach program, who are getting an assist from stars of the Washington Capitals. The ice rink was the only one in Washington at that time. So with the kids in the neighborhood, I came over to the rink. And from then on, it's been known as Fort DuPont Ice Hockey Program. My name is Neil Henderson. I'm the founder and owner. I'm the head coach there. We've been in operation since 1977. And our rink is right on a fort that was there during the Civil War. The southeast side of the Capitol was not ever touched because the slaves guarded that section and they fought anyone who came on that side. The black represents the slave. The gold represents the brass buttons on the uniform. And the white represents their officers. So this is why we wear these colors. People think that I'm crazy for playing hockey because it's scary when the puck come at you. My name is Benton O'Neill. I play goalie for the Fort DuPont Cannons, and I'm 14 years old. And when I tell them I play hockey, they're like kind of like surprised that I'm a black kid playing hockey. My family, they encouraged me to be myself so that I wouldn't like follow the crowd. Because it's such a rough area, it gives the children an outlet. When there's issues going on at home, they have somewhere to go. I'm Alicia Wilson. I am Benton's mom. I've never had an issue with him because he's always wanted to play. I'm always emphasizing to other parents of how great hockey is. Keep your head up, keep your head up. Hockey is a tool, and kids will learn anything. And if you don't have them in a positive mind, they'll do something wrong. I have very high standards. You can only have one C on your report but you must strive for A's and B's. I have a young lady interested in either Harvard or Cornell to play on the ladies hockey team there. Hockey at the collegiate level, I know it's going to be very competitive, but I also know that it's something that I'm going to do. My name is Katherine Baker. I play for the Fort DuPont Cannons. I play defense. To my neighborhood and to myself, it's been very important. That's my safe haven. That's where I go every free moment that I get, basically. I started playing hockey because a group of my friends were also playing, and I really enjoyed watching it. I chose to play hockey because I watched it on TV. I saw Joe Ward playing for the Cats, and I wanted to be like him. I head down on the right side, right circle, sharp angle, and punch it! It's an inspirational spot to be at if everyone gets a chance to visit Fort DuPont. I'm Joel Ward. I play right wing for the Washington Capitals. I've been there for a couple of years now, and it's just not about hockey. It's just about life lessons and learning and, and a lot of discipline. And I think it's just guys like myself. It's our jobs to, to help promote it. The NHL helps us quite a bit. How many kids get the opportunity to meet the greatest player in ice hockey? Kuznetsov skating in, a pass across. Oh, that's going to shot. He scores! If you have a chance to uh, help the kids, you have to do it. I'm Alex Sveshkin, left to win on the Washington Capitals. If they're not going to be hockey players, uh, they may be going to be a good businessman. This wasn't my first time playing with Ovechkin. This is actually my second. The first time I actually played with Ovechkin, it was very, you know, ecstatic. I wasn't, you know, quite sure how to feel. I just saw a great hockey player and me being able to skate on the ice with him. It didn't really hit me until after the fact. And then today, I'm looking back on it like, wow, times have really changed. And I, you know, I still look up to him. For me, actually, it doesn't matter if he's white or black. You know, if he's a good player, he can help the team, and he loves the hockey. Like, he's, he's going to be out there. To see that many black kids out there playing hockey on, on one surface like that, I've never seen that uh, growing up my whole life. It's no secret if you look out, uh, hockey is a predominantly white sport. When I first came to D.C., uh, I wanted to choose a number. It was a new chapter in my life. I wanted to pick a number that was kind of really meaningful. and. I thought uh, 42 was available for the honor of Jackie Robinson and you know hopefully I wear it with uh, honor and pride and do the numbers some justice. Obviously hearing Willie's story and following him his past, here I am today and uh, obviously if it wasn't for those guys uh, I would not have this opportunity. My name is Willie O'Ree. 
I played for the Boston Bruins in uh, 1958, 60, and 61. And it was the media that gave me the name, the Jackie Robinson of hockey. I didn't uh, give that name to myself. I didn't realize that I had broke barriers and opened doors, you know, for other black players and, and players of color. And a pass to O'Ree on the right side. O'Ree comes up over the Maple Leaf line. Players on the opposition would, uh, you know, call me the N-word, but later on there were more black players and players of color coming up, and, you know, after I retired in 1980, I felt that I had something to give back to the sport. We want to make hockey uh, available to every boy and girl possible. A hockey puck doesn't care who hits it, and I don't care who hits my hockey puck. As long as they want to learn to play hockey, then they come to the right place. The Fort DuPont Cannons, it's a family. I couldn't describe it any other way. With Coach Neil and Miss Dean being like parents, they make sure everything is okay. I'm a Benjanese. I'm their uncle, I'm their dad, I'm their big brother. I'm someone that they can call at midnight if necessary. I love doing it. Because what happens is, that's a kid that I've saved. 